So if you look at the history of the militia and what we now talk about as the right of the people to keep and bear arms, you will see that actually it was a near universal duty of all able-bodied men in the colonial period to possess and to bear arms when they were necessary to defend the community. But certain interests, known as the gun control lobby, never acknowledged this. Instead, gun controllers infringe the Second Amendment with all manner of schemes and bogus legal theories. Yeah, I, I, know, I know why sales of these weapons have been soaring in the last few days. It's down to idiots like you. Mr. Pratt, thank you for joining me. There's every form of fraud and quack-filled, uh, quack-driven theory out there uh, to push the idea that disarming the people as a whole, as if there's some guilt-ridden mass of criminals, uh, will transport us to some wondrous utopia when Chicago, New York, and other cities that have essentially banned citizen ownership of guns have crime rates, in some cases, 10 times that of areas that have high rates of gun ownership. And the ones uh, on the opposite side that have limited gun restriction have the least crime. The gun controllers have dreamed up every nasty name they can to replace the simple word arms. Terms like assault weapons, gangster weapons, Saturday night specials, and cop killers flood the mainstream media to toxify the Second Amendment. Well, there's an old saying, to kill a dog, you must first call it mad. And it's typical of the propagandist that when he wants to achieve a, something, something that we could consider a scurrilous result, he applies some nasty epithet to the, the victim or the target. So if you look at the term assault rifle, it's that word assault. Or if you look at the term Saturday night special, that's directed to the accessibility of types of firearms. Then the concept of cop killer bullet, of course, draws the picture of the police officer being shot down in the line of duty. So if one were to follow the logic of that terminology to its ultimate extreme, most ammunition would have to be banned. And of course, that's the ultimate purpose. They either want to remove from the average person's possession a particular type of firearm, such as the so-called assault rifle, or make certain firearms inaccessible because only the rich can afford them. That's the Saturday night special logic or in the ultimate extreme, remove the ability to use most firearms by banning essentially all forms of ammunition.